These are fully fledged worlds. As complex as any planet, a possible refuge of life. The planets might beat the moons in terms of size, but in character, moons often outshine their stolid parents. It was the year 1610 when Simon Marius and Galileo Galilei quintrupled the concept of moon then known to humanity by discovering Jupiter's four large satellites. The ratio of planets versus moons in our solar system now goes 1 to 22 with a remarkable display of diversity. Join us for a tour of some of the most frigid, violent, and absolutely strange worlds. Bizarre Moons. Just like the giant planet Jupiter, its moon, Ganymede, also dominates all the other moons in size. With the diameter of 5,270 kilometers, it's even bigger than the planet Mercury. Ganymede also has a strong magnetic field compared to all the other moons. It is apparently the only satellite in the solar system to display an intrinsic dipole magnetic field, just like the Earth's, which could be a result of its liquid metal core. Saturn's moon Titan is filled with lakes, hills, caves, river valleys, muddy plains and deserts. Its dense nitrogen atmosphere possesses thick fog, mist and rain clouds. The surface of Titan gives the sense of uncanny similarities to Earth. The fluids flowing in lakes and rivers of the Titan are actually liquid hydrocarbons like ethane, methane and acetylene, which also forms haze and fog on the surface. These compounds convert to gases in the cozy temperature of Earth but here, the surface temperature never goes above minus 180 degrees Celsius, which helps them maintain a liquid form. Io is a ferocious world with constant volcanoes and intense radiation. Despite being cold enough to cover its outer atmosphere with frozen sulfur dioxide, its inner surround is one fiery hell. Jupiter's innermost moon, Io, erupts 100 times more volcanoes than Earth. Its surface is also spotted with bubbling lakes of molten rocks. The largest of them all is Loki Patara, which is more than 200 kilometers wide. Io's contradictory atmosphere reveals a struggle for supremacy between Jupiter and its moons Europa, Callisto and Ganymede. These opposing forces cause the distance between Io and Jupiter to vary, making Io's orbit slightly elliptical, and the change in Jupiter's gravitational force causes Io to erupt from inside, 
This phenomenon is known as tidal heating. Covered with cracked ice crust, Jupiter's Europa is one of the most active landscapes in the solar system. Its rocky core is warmed by the tidal heating, giving birth to a watery ocean beneath the icy surface. If this ocean stretches till the moon's core, its hydrothermal vent on the dark seabed may provide enough nutrients to support microorganisms or shrimp-sized predators. Saturn's moon Enceladus is a violent snowball. Its south pole is filled with geysers which blast out as huge streams of water vapors and ice crystals. Some of it tumbles back to the surface as snow, making Enceladus the most whitest moon in the solar system. The rest of the escaped water vapors creates a foggy ring around Saturn. These geysers suggest an ocean interior beneath the surface of Enceladus, which can be a result of tidal heating. But unlike Europa, if there is any possibility of microorganisms existing in the ocean, our probes would have already picked it up by now life would be difficult to hide with those high stream geysers. Neptune's Triton is the coldest moon of our solar system. Its surface is frosted with different extrinsic ices, including blends of water, nitrogen and methane. When the sun hits the surface, the unstable deposits of nitrogen evaporate and geysers burst out. It also creates a thin, cloudy atmosphere of nitrogen. This change in climate gives a very pleasant look to Triton. Triton's surface looks very young and smooth with very less impact craters. Its youth can be a result of cold volcanoes which erupt liquid ammonia and water. This lava covers the surface with ice, erasing any sign of aging. Triton orbits Neptune backward, suggesting that it was captured by Neptune's gravity. With its size equivalent to Pluto, Triton may have fit as a dwarf planet if it were not a moon of Neptune. In the whole family of moons, Neptune's Nereid has the most eccentric orbit. It goes as far as 9 million kilometers and comes close by 1.4 million kilometers of Neptune. Its boomerang path may have been the result of Triton's abduction by Neptune. Triton's opposite orbital cycle to Neptune's own rotation might have thrown near Reard on its long and strange route. Even with lumpy shapes and strange orbit, Nereid's composition indicated that it may have been formed from the leftover material once orbiting Neptune.
Most of the moons are either round and smooth or lumpy and uneven. But Saturn's moons, Pan and Atlas, are somewhat unique. They remind us of alien flying saucers from old sci-fi B-movies. The flatter of the two, Atlas has a diameter of 18 kilometers in height and 40 kilometers at its equator. The reason for the strange shape might lie in their orbit, which is very close to Saturn's rings. A speculation suggests that lots of ice material from Saturn's rings may have fallen upon their ridges, giving them the nice smooth rims in comparison to their bumpy poles. While Pan and Atlas are the strange moons in terms of shape, another moon of Saturn, Iapetus, is an anomalous two-toned object with its one dark black side and the other bright white. An embossed ridge runs halfway around the equator, giving Iapetus an odd resemblance with a walnut shell. The dark side of Iapetus is the leading front facing hemisphere of the moon as it moves in its orbit. The dark cover of the moon is roughly one meter thick. This black material must have been swept up from space while moving around Saturn. After the spread, sunlight has sharpened up the contrast by continually heating up the dark side while the remaining surface is completely covered with ice frost. In fact, its density implies that Iapetus is made of 80% ice and 20% rock. Our moon is the most prominent object in Earth's night sky, even in the light-dwelling cities. The score of moons in our solar system are piling up ever since the discovery of Jupiter's moons. Still, Earth's companion stands out as one of the most remarkable members of the clan. Moons in the inner solar system are rare. With its huge size, our moon can be more at ease between the massive satellites that orbits the gas giants in the outer solar system. Its size might be evidence of its unique origin. Moons are thought to be formed in one of two ways, by coalescing from the same cloud of debris as their parent planet, or as wandering objects captured by the parent's gravitational pull. Our moon's birth was rather unconventional. 4.5 billion years ago, when a large protoplanet collided with the young Earth, it cast a glowing ring of methane and vaporized rock. Some of which condensed to form our satellite. This ancient cataclysm might have been lucky for us as the moon helps to stabilize the axial tilt of Earth removing one source of extreme climate change that might have otherwise afflicted our planet. Our moon, original and best, is the most bizarre of them all. The new discoveries around the moon engross us all, like the discovery of water ice buried at the lunar surface.
and the Hermite crater on the Moon, which has the coldest temperature measured anywhere in the solar system. And even being the longest witnessed of them all, the Moon never stops to amaze us. Till now, the total count of named moons is 178. And as our technology advances, we might find more amazing moons with facets beyond our wildest imagination. These bizarre worlds may have been overshadowed by their parent planets, but undeniably, they play the biggest part when it comes down to defining the characteristics of the planets. Moons and planets share a natural bond with each other. Without one another, our solar system may have been completely different and lifeless.